What's up, YouTube? I wanted to make another quick video. Uh, this is one on the DSP car app, the generic Chinese DSP that I installed in the Sequoia. I did a video on this one maybe like two years ago, going over the general uh, overview and functions of it. Uh, I just wanted to do one with the speakers installed and installed in the car. I did install this in another vehicle. I never did a video on that vehicle and I took it out probably after a, a month or two of having it in there. Uh, not because it, it didn't do good, it's just I wanted to try the other one and then I just ended up keeping that one. But um, yeah, this one's been in storage for like the past year and a half. I uh, finally took it out, decided to put it back in here to start start the Sequoia build, you know? And it's what I've been using. So just wanted to give you a quick overview of the functions. Um, this is my Surface Pro X, so the EXC app for the DSP doesn't format well here for whatever reason. You can see the graph is kind of shifted. It's supposed to be all the way at this edge. These are supposed to be independent and they're kind of under the menu. So everything's kind of like shifted a little bit. Um, I kind of figured it out. It all kind of works. It's just off from where it's supposed to be. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a preview. I got some non-copyright music. Uh, playing so um, you get a kind of a everything's on right now so you can kind of get a audio cue of what it sounds like so it's not bad um, it's not perfect either. This is uh, a DSP. I paid hundred and and sixty eight dollars for this DSP. For the price, it does a heck of a job, but it is not perfect. Now, I will say this: I'm not a hundred percent sure it is the DSP, but um, there is some minor hissing from the audio jack. I don't know if it's it's from the DSP or it's from the head unit coaxial. And no matter if I turn the gain down all the way down, it's not a gain issue, it's just a hissing sound. It's very minor, I don't mind it, it's okay. Um, I could live with it, but I know some people can't. So I haven't narrowed it down, I haven't eliminated if it's the DSP or, or the head unit that's doing it, because I do have an Android head unit. Um, but um, just wanted to disclose that there is a, faint hissing sound right now that the ac is on and the car is on i can't really hear it but it's there like when it's super quiet and everything you know it, it's you could hear it it's audible um and i would compare that to uh most of us have seen a a movie or maybe you guys experienced it where you put the needle on the record and it goes that's what it sounds like it doesn't fluctuate it's not a ground noise it's not a ground loop noise where it's um changing pitch with acceleration or anything no it's just a constant just like like a hissing kind of noise you know um it's very minor uh, i'm exaggerating that obviously so you kind of get an idea what the sound is but yeah that's one of the bad sides um the other bad side i mean for the budget i mean i wouldn't call it a bad side it's just like a function that that i would like to co see come to something of this price point just to kind of explain to you what's coming out is this one doesn't have uh what is it a signal dsp uh I'm not sorry not a signal dsp a signal analyzer or like a rta of input signal coming in so it doesn't it doesn't show how the car is eq'd obviously mine is an aftermarket radio shouldn't have any type of eq but uh that would be nice for something this price point i would definitely recommend it if it has something like that more if it had a uh analyzer that kind of help correct those eq curves to try to kind of flatten out the signal input but it doesn't have it um i'm just gonna assume that from the join it's coming out pretty pretty flat i honestly haven't um i honestly haven't uh, put a microphone in here um i do have my rta um and a microphone that i could try i just haven't done it to see how the eq curve is in here but um we'll be doing that in the future uh for now i just kind of wanted to focus on the features of this one 
So, uh, but for the money, I mean, going off from kind of like the negative start that I had, it's still a pretty good, um, I'm trying to get better lighting here. There you go, let's move it this way. Okay, so, um, you do have a lot of options though. Uh, these are my output right here colors. So each graph is going to be graphed on here, each um, crossover point. So this is where the crossover begins on this one, which if you kind of focus in there, it's around, it drops off around 80 hertz is where I think I put the cutoff and it starts sloping down per octave, uh, 24 octave, I think is what I have the setting on. And it goes all the way up to 5,000. I don't know if it goes up that high, but I just wanted to set it at 5,000. And that's for my mid base on the front doors. Uh, my mid range. Um, that one would be these. They're all paired since I haven't tuned it. Uh, once I do decide to get the microphone in here and tune it, they're, I'm going to pair them and do them individually. But for now, for purposes of just tuning everything, how I kind of wanted it and having the crossovers, this is a simple setup. Uh, I have one paired. These, um, my mids, which cut off around, I want to say I have them cut off around 600. And then they come down and then I go, they go all the way up to, I think I put them around 8,000. So um, that's the mid range. So that's the two inch speaker that's in the door. Sorry, I had my transfer lunch earlier. I gotta throw that away. I haven't gotten off the car yet. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> So that's my two inch, then my tweeters on the front, which are all, I mean, that's an active setup. Um, yeah, I think I have them going down to like about 6,000 and everything above that. And I have them kind of like turned down at the top because I don't want them too sharp where they kind of hurt your ears too much. Um, and then the rear fill, I have it full signal pretty much. Uh, um, it just the roll off is around 80 hertz too and then all the way up just because i'm gonna be running those off of uh the i'm gonna be running a passive crossover on that one so i want the full signal being sent so they could the crossovers could do their own thing back there and then the sub the sub i mean it's pretty self-explanatory you know it's slow it cuts off around 300 hertz so um yeah, that, that's kind of the function, so you're able to do that. I also have the tweeters turned down a bit, like about 3.3 dB. Um, so you can turn the volume down. Um, you could also flip the face, so you don't have to go into the wiring. Um, if if your face, if one of your speakers is out of face, you can flip it here. You know, just click on, on this. Go through a 180 or zero, so you could flip the polarity technically. Um, another function they have is delay, milliseconds delay. I haven't set none of that up, but it's another function that's offered in this DSP. And I mean, for the price, uh, it has some pretty good functions, you know, and then you could also tune everything up here. Like say you want to boost stuff. Um, you go on the channel that you want to boost, say you want to boost the front wheel and you could just move it here up and it'll boost that signal range. You know, you can see it right there. And it does do a difference. Uh, obviously, I don't have anything playing right now, but let's see if I can get it to um, do it really quick. Let's see if you guys could see any, hear any difference. So I'm gonna turn everything off so you can shut off speakers if you're doing any testing. So that's another pretty cool function, right? So let's see. Let me forward a little. Bit. Okay. So I'm gonna turn these pair off. Turn tweeters off, turn the rears off. Turn, I want to turn the woofer off too. And I just have the mids playing in the front. So say let's boost it. Sorry for 
gonna do this through the phone camera, so it's kind of a little bit tricky task. I mean, the uh, the difference is audible. Uh, I don't know how well of a job the mic's gonna pick it up, but. So you get it back flat. It has this one at negative, so let me go change that. There it is, flat again. The pitch does change a little bit. I mean, it's a drastic though, but you could definitely hear it. Just gonna go ahead and set them all to zero. And we're back to normal. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you, show you that. Um, I mean, it's pretty capable. I'm happy with, with its performance, especially for the price point. I mean, if you just want to tune your your cardio a little bit and, and have that flexibility, I mean, this is definitely the way to go and boost and cut. I mean, obviously you're supposed to cut before, but I just wanted to show the the big difference. You could, I mean, the audio difference that it does make. Um, and yeah, I have you guys take a look at that. And let's see, let's try something a little more. Try this one, right? There you go, a little bit more lively. But yeah, I mean, like I said, overall, if you want to tune something, cut, get your your output line. If you have a microphone tuning, it, it'll do it. You know, it, it's a lot cheaper than other options. Like I said, there is a light hiss. Uh, there are some functions that are missing that would be nice, but for the price point, I can't complain. And I think uh, it's a pretty good uh, value dollar to value ratio. Is it's best bang for your buck, you know. So I definitely recommend you guys looking if you're trying to build a budget system. Excuse me. If you're trying to build a budget system, this would be a good alternative. And uh, I'll post a picture of the DSP uh, on the thumbnail. That way you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, 
um it's pretty good can't complain you know so hope you guys check it out you like the video uh thanks guys